God. Owning an old boat is like being a detective, at least when you're trying to fix it up. Right away, we're noticing that it appears that the previous owner put core and fiberglass on top of a previous core and fiberglass instead of ripping it off and repairing it. We could be wrong, but maybe it was original and they just did a sandwich layer, but I, don't, I have a feeling underneath here is even worse than what we're looking at. I mean, it feels pretty bad. So there's a fiberglass layer underneath this. You can see how bad that is. It's coming off with my fingers. So we'll, we'll keep on digging. Stay tuned, this is getting pretty interesting. Alright, we got most of the super rotted wood out with the chisels pretty easily, but for the rest we're going to hopefully find a multi-tool here in town. Joel and the original bums realized how useful those things can be. It's not coming up so easily anymore, so I think power tools are going to take us the rest of the way. But first... It's laundry day. You're looking at our new and improved washing machine. How do you guys do laundry? Do you do it by hand? Do you use a machine? Do you have any idea how much water goes into your laundry needs? I didn't until we started doing laundry by hand. So once we get it clean in the bag, we hang it up on the lifelines. Do you guys use a dryer? Do you air dry? Does anybody air dry anymore? Actually, this bag that makes our laundry way faster and easier was a gift to us from our Amazon wish list. It was anonymous. We don't know who sent it to us, but we want to give a huge shout out to everybody who sent us things off of our Amazon wish list. We are blown away and we just want to say thank you. Better question, how often do you run out of water when you're trying to do laundry? And we're back. that we're taking out now doesn't actually look too bad it's still pretty sturdy it's actually quite a bit of work to get it out but the part that we worked on yesterday was soft as a sponge and there's a couple other spots where it's rotten away so we figured it would be best to just take it all out and replace it with something new so it was uh, leaking for sure around the sides here also right here where it was cracked and probably in some of um, where the hardware went in. So I'm guessing 5200, what they did was they went around and squeezed a bunch of 5200 all the way around the seam and then they stuck the plywood on top of it and then they fiberglassed over it and then they sealed and I'm guessing they actually put the fiberglass on the plywood before they put it on here and they didn't uh, put any, uh, uh, what do they call it, a tack? You know what they call that? Fill it. A tab? A lip? A tab. They didn't put a tab. They didn't tab it. They just they just put this silicone putty stuff right here. The middle part comes out real easy. This getting around the sides here is, is difficult, and that's the whole 5200 combo. I think in remember how water was underneath? Like down where the, the rudder is? Well, no, it was underneath the core. Yeah. There was holes drilled in under, that went all the way through the core. The second core. Mm -hmm. Or the original core. Ah! 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 Still not coming, though. What? Michael's down there going to town. 
and the last little remaining bits of cockpit number one. It's these drain holes here that's just been a brute. There, 5200 all the way around both sides, top and bottom. 5200! Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Was that a stretch? <sighs> Are you pumped? My hips. Let's go. It's really close. It's the last remaining bits before cleanup. Bun it. I think it's really wanting to come out. Just this last little, little bit there. See, it's stuck there on the drain. <laughs> <laughs> here is the boys and eyes original fix to the delaminated crack cockpit floor we just drilled some holes and injected it with an epoxy mix until we didn't feel any uh, gaps and it seemed to stick and then we let it ride so you can see it's just a big gunk of goop and on the bottom side, this gives you an idea of the amount of 5200. This is solid 5200. See, it's a rubbery consistency there. So this is uh, what we dealt with all the way around. And this is from the original fix, uh, probably from the owner that we bought the boat from. We can't say for sure, though. Now, we got two options the way we see it. A, we can take notes from the previous owner's fix and we could just go get some wood, slap it on top of the original and um, reseal it the same way that they did it and just try to let this core ride. Or option two is to do the same thing, cut all the way around and remove the original core which we thought we were doing here, the balsa wood, and then recore it from scratch. Go all the way through, you can see the. this has got plenty of holes drilled in it, it's cracked all around. They, they had at least, these are the screws we were able to get out right here, and there's plenty more. Now what we noticed at first, I was a little bit confused, because some of the screws, like right here where you're looking at, you can't get this out. You know why? Because we got to go underneath, and we have to hold the, uh, the nut on the other side, because I'm, I'm guessing they couldn't get the screws to set into the original leaky core. This was this was good. We discovered a little bit more about the boat and we're one step closer to victory. One more thing. Tell us what you think we should do. Would you cut this out, remove the original and start from scratch or would you just slap a piece of wood on top, make it easy, seal it up and move on? What's the best part about removing wet soggy core? This is the best part about removing wet, soggy core. One of the most amazing things about sharing our life with you is the ability to connect on a large scale. We recently got to know Floyd, a new patron of ours who is a wildlife photographer. He admitted that he waited too long before pursuing his passion. Floyd was diagnosed with cancer, which limits his ability to travel, explore, and photograph exotic animals. He now enjoys spending his time watching us and others like us follow their dreams on YouTube. We'll leave a link in the description below to Floyd's online photo album for you guys to check out. And to our patrons watching, we're excited to hear from you on Saturday's live stream. These 
are the tales of Boab.